Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. And just a real quick one today. Um, uh, since I upgraded to the studio version of Plasticity, I've been playing around with some of the upcoming features. I've been using x -Nerbs a lot. I've been using CVs and, and just having fun with it and playing around. Now, one thing that is really cool um, that I noticed is one uh, beta feature at the moment, but I believe it will be coming to both the studio and indie versions of plasticity is this little feature here so we'll just pull this up like this and what you need to do is select two edges okay and this is kind of changing the way that I'm modeling in plasticity and you'll notice there's this new um, option here for full so it's like a full uh, rounded fillet okay and we just select that and we've got that shape so that's really cool but it's cool in other ways so it's changing the way that I'm modeling a bit so we'll just hide everything here okay and we'll just uh, get our thingos back okay I'll go into front mode okay so I know that the square that I want to make is um, 22 uh, point 22.5 something like that um, by 22.5 so that'll be the widest point okay and we will just make this come out like um, 50 on each side. So 100, uh, 10 centimeters basically. And I'll just get this back. So what we can do now, okay, is I can pull this across like that, press full, and I get my rounded level. And then I can just mirror it on that and I'll get a circle, right? But what I want to do is just drag this down and because I know that I want this kind of shape to begin with, okay, so we'll just confirm that. We'll fill it them together. You can even try and round these off if you if you want to a little bit. Okay, so this is the rough shape that I want. And then all I need to do is pull out the measure tool. And because I know that I want this to be 16 mil, okay, I can just we'll have to try that again the measure tool I have to confirm my actions okay now I've got two of them because I want I know I want this to be 16 mil I can then just bring this down to around about 16 like that okay I'm only doing game art I'm not 3d printing or anything so this is what I wanted and this is the shape uh, that I got out of it so I would normally have made a circle or whatever but i find that this technique is kind of cool as well so i'm really glad that that's coming to plasticity and it just makes modeling the way that i like to model um or giving me more options basically um one really cool thing about this that uh nick allen posted in his little video about it on um the discord is if you do something like this and he explains it better than i do so if you've got plasticity you can use the discord and find that out but if you select this edge and this edge right and you bring that together like that this is what you end up with right this kind of I don't know khaki chain now if you click full this is what you get so it's got a different behavior so there's obviously going to be like really cool use cases and I'm sure heaps of you are gonna uh, find really really cool ways to use this I reckon it's great it's just a great little tool and it's kind of changed the way that i do things so i know that's upcoming i don't know when the next version of plasticity is being released but as far as i'm aware that feature will be in both the indie and studio versions all right thanks a lot for watching everybody and i'll see you in the next one Tschüss.